I was going to tell you the secret to immortality, but we've run out of time, I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so uh, President Clinton, Secretary Clinton, it's great to see you here and welcome everybody. Um, I'll keep it brief. Uh, I will be talking tomorrow, so uh, you're not going to miss out if you come tomorrow. Uh, so I'm one of the few scientists here and I speak on behalf of all sci scientists that uh, science is under attack uh, globally and particularly where I live, uh, the United States. I, I work at Harvard Medical School uh, as, a, as a scientist and, uh, and teacher and our classes are going to be much smaller this coming year. Uh, but I am here to talk about uh, the future of technology, which is what I work on. And I've been working for 30 years on the belief that if we don't tackle the major cause of disease and disability on this planet, we're not gonna make great strides in human health. Uh, and in fact, human health is barely progressing. Uh, but the hope uh, is that we can make major breakthroughs that will truly tackle what's causing most disease and disability that underlies the symptoms of this process we call aging. Uh, we now understand that diabetes, Alzheimer's, heart disease, even diseases like ALS, motor neuron diseases, which are currently incurable, have an underlying basis in this process we call aging, which is not something that is due to breakdown in the body, and it's not something that's specific to each organ, our research shows that it is a fundamental process that we can follow, we can read, we can slow it, and as we're showing now, in animals, we can reverse it. The implications of this are extraordinary if it is possible in humans. We stand on the precipice of the possibility of treating most diseases that afflict human beings with treatments that may be universal. The theory that I have is called the information theory of aging and proposes that the reason that we get sick as we get older is not because we wear out and not because things break down. It's because we lose vital information in the body, which I'll talk about tomorrow. But the good news is that we've found not only where this information is stored, we now understand why it is lost over time in the same way that a computer software or hard drive becomes corrupted. And using very clever genetic tricks, and hopefully soon as we're working towards an injection or a pill, we can reboot the software of the human body and restore the lost information that we have when we're young. So I no longer see an old, frail, person, I see somebody who just needs to have their software rebooted. And why is this important? Well, it's not just about making great strides in human health. It's, of course, uh, important that we live longer and healthier. That's exactly what medical research is all about. But we saw what happened during the pandemic where over 4 million people lost their lives over the age of 80. If those people were not elderly and they had their immune systems rejuvenated, which I believe it is possible to do, then we would have lost far fewer lives. And so just to end, I want to give you a sense of how quickly this is happening. It's been mentioned that we've worked on mice, and that is true. We've worked on mice for many decades now, and it's actually not that difficult. My students can reverse the age of a mouse now and extend its, life, its remaining lifespan uh, by over 100%. But a mouse is not a human, of course, and we've cured many diseases in mice that we have not succeeded in in humans. But we believe that it is a universal process, so that it is, it is likely to be able to treat diseases and even cure diseases in man and humans. So how close are we? Well, we've restored blindness, we've cured blindness in, in mice, We've cured multiple sclerosis, we've cured Alzheimer's, we've cured diabetes, and we've cured, partially cured aging in mice. But then a breakthrough last year, uh, a spin out from my lab showed that we could cure blindness for the first time, not just in mice, but in monkeys. And monkeys are nearly identical to humans. And the first person gets treated in less than a year from now. So cross your fingers okay. that this 
first brave attempt at using the body's own defenses against disease will work. But even if it doesn't, yeah, exactly. there is a, an ongoing fight across the world among scientists and drug developers to make this a possibility. And when it happens, it's no longer an if, it's a when, then humanity will forever be changed for the better. Thank you.